all right guys what's up what's going on hope you are good okay in this video i'm going to be uh sharing something interesting with you guys and also i'll be answering a question someone actually asked me how to uh trade uh double top and double bottom pattern in the comment section so i'm going to be doing that even though i've created a video like this before but because an important person asked me so once you are watching my video you are so important so dear to me so um i'm going to be doing another video on how to trade um double top and double bottom pattern but remember the major thing we are going to be checking out here okay um is how to actually mark up your chart properly and know exactly where you are in the market you know some of us we just enter the market in the middle of nowhere no key level you don't even have any targets you are, you are just entering a trade that's not how to make money in this field okay so i'm going to be sharing with you how to mark up your chart properly and also how to uh, trade double uh, top and double bottom right so if you have any question based on maybe any of any of the strategy you have heard of okay as long as forex trading is consigned i will definitely answer your question and create a video just to answer your question so drop a comment of the kind of videos you want me to create or your questions and i will definitely create a video to answer your question right so um first of all when you open your chart this is vs25 okay when you open your chart this way simply what you need to do is to look at some levels okay so if you look here we have a level which is the high that's the highest point at this moment if you are looking at your chart right now this is the highest point where the price have gotten to okay for days okay this is like three or four months ago this is may here this is april so in the whole of uh let's say this year okay this is the highest point the price i've gotten to for the year this is daily time frame okay so what you need to do is that you pick up your horizontal ray and drop here okay you drop at that high okay no matter the chart you always see something like this then you look at the recent low you have this zone as the recent low okay now you can equally check the sub levels okay you mark out this level these are the lows you can see clearly you need to see the this uh turning points okay this is also a turning point okay so what will this thing now help you to do you are looking at the, what the price is actually going to be doing in nearest future okay maybe today tomorrow or next right so when you look at our markup now with this thing this particular markup you'll be able to know the next thing to do so you will know exactly where you are in the market and where the price is likely going to push up to okay or push down to so looking at this chart you can equally mark this zone okay you can equally mark out this zone based on the price current price action right now okay so now what this particular thing that we just do now within few seconds okay what is the implication what is the important now you just want to know where the price is exactly okay you uh there's another thing i'm seeing also which is this level okay this level also is important you can actually mark out this level but this is when you are now breaking the chart proper like going into to, uh, maybe to see some levels some key levels and all that but i don't really need this so the basic or the major things or the major lines are these lines now that we have here we have this low we have the highest point we have this turning point also and here okay so the importance of knowing this is that you want to know the the where the price is current uh, currently and where the price is likely going to the price most time move from zone to zone okay the price move from zone to zone to no zone so from here the price push all the way to this level created a new low and all that and at the same time we are hoping that the price is likely going to also retrace and get to this level one day it's definitely going to happen okay but we are not just targeting this point it's too far okay it's too far so what we are looking at is these levels here okay so from here now you'll be able to think where exactly is the price a price likely going to okay where exactly is the price likely going to be pushing okay are we targeting we have this level right now okay we have this level right now and we also have this level right now this is the, this is basically the two closest level to this price okay so now this thing have a kind of 
uh, uh, scale this work down to these two zones. Okay, so these two things might must happen. These are the, the things that must happen. Either the price push more to the upside from here or any point to this level. Okay, or the price continues to drop to this level. These are the two things that must happen. You know, I want you to bring down your analysis in a way that it will be more easier for you. Okay, it will be more easier for you. Once you be able to break down this chart now this way, you know your target. The price is actually either the price is going to push up and hit this level. Okay, or the price will push down and hit this level. Now you have two things now. So which one are we going to be focusing on? Which one are you going to be looking at? So. Looking at this chart, you now look at the whole price action. What is the price doing right now? You can see that the price created a high from here, which is the turning point, and you have another high here. Okay. Now, after this high, the price also breaks structure at this level. You can see this level here. The price break out with a momentum candlestick. And there's something that, that is called a fair value gap, which the price created at this zone. This is a gap right here. And the price came back to correct the gap, right? But this is another thing. I'm not actually going to be, I'm not sharing like a strategy. I'm just trying to share with you how to break, break down the chart and forecast the next move. Then you can apply, okay, any of the strategy you know. Just understanding this chart breakdown, you can now start applying strategies. Maybe double top, double bottom, anything. Maybe uh, support and resistance level, psychological level, uh, flip zone uh, strategy, other block strategy. Um, any of this strategy or any of the concepts, ICT concept, smart money, uh, support and resistance, chart patterns. Just understanding this now, you can now scale down to a lower time frame to see a pattern either a continuation pattern or you see a reversal pattern remember we have scaled down this thing now this our chart you know predicting or forecasting that the price is likely going to push from here all the way to this level okay or the price will continue dropping to this level now what which one are we going to be doing are we going to be buying or are we going to be selling now we are not going to do this on a higher time frame okay we want to go down to a lower time frame which we are going to be looking for patterns maybe um reversal pattern or trend continuation pattern so if we see a reversal pattern okay that means we are going to be selling because the price is actually pushing to the upside at this point okay we are looking at the current price you can see these bullish candles right here okay if we are seeing a reversal pattern that means this candle is likely going to close as bearish and the price will reverse all the way to this level at least right so but if we see a trend continuation pattern that means the price will likely push all the way to this level and maybe hit re uh, at this point react to this level or break it and keep going right so these are the two, two things we are going to be looking forward to now there is something you also want to see or want to notice here so you want to see what is the price currently doing at this level the price is actually creating the series of lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs this is a confluence now you this is you make trying to make sure that you're taking a quality trade which if you draw a trend line at this point you have a good trend line to this level right that is another signal that okay we now have more weight to the downside we now have more confluences to the downside that the price is actually going to be pushing to the downside okay instead of now you can see that you have a, a trend line okay at this level showing that the price is likely going to respect this line and push to the downside also you have the price creating lower lows and lower highs lower lows and this is likely going to be a new lower high okay before the price hit this level so you have like about three things now okay showing you a clear direction of the price okay that the price is likely going to drop to this level okay now if you also look at this one what are we seeing here the price can keep pushing to the upside to get to this zone okay the price can get to this zone first before you know dropping or before you know breaking above and keep going so these are the two, two things you need to uh, uh also check out you don't just blindly enter any trade now you have more confluences to the downside but are you going to just sell because you have your trend line here you have your or uh, your level which you are going to be targeting or the price is creating higher highs or uh, sorry higher lows 
uh, and lower lows. Okay, so I just going to enter a cell. No, the thing is that we have more confidence to the downside. So the next thing we are going to be doing is that we now switch to a lower time frame, which is 15 minutes time frame, to see if we can get a reversal pattern. Once we see M pattern, we see a head and shoulders pattern, or we see any reversal pattern at that zone, maybe a channel break, we are going to be selling. Okay, but the important thing is that on a higher time frame, you're able to know some levels you are going to be targeting, where you are going to be focusing on. Then you come down to a lower time frame to start looking for your entry. I hope this is clear. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, because I have more confluences to the downside, I'm going to delete this one. Okay, then uh, I'm going to delete my trend line also because I've already, uh, you know, identify the whole thing i don't need i don't like too much lines in my chart okay another thing i can equally do is to mark out psychological level and see if i have my psychological level at that zone but you know you can do that yourself and check out okay so um i don't want to make this video too long so what i need to do now is that i will go down to maybe let me start from one hour time frame okay i can go down to one hour time frame okay so you can see this is one hour time frame okay it's one hour time frame so what are we seeing here let me just so that you get the concept you can see that this is still our uh charts okay let me delete this so remember we are targeting anything we are doing we are targeting at least this low that's the point we are targeting so on one hour time frame are we going to be entering this trade right now the truth is that you don't just jump into this trade because the price is creating series of higher highs you can see that from here the price push massively to the upside we have something like this as low you can equally mark this as low you also have this as low okay you can see this as also double uh bottom at that point okay you can see this as double bottom so at this point the price is still giving us that bullish movement you cannot just enter at this point okay you cannot sell at this point we know that we are targeting the the, the weight or the probability of the price going to the downside is high right we have our edge to the downside but we don't just sell on a lower time frame now you can see that the price is still bullish this price is still bullish so how do we make entry now you can employ this pattern which is the double top pattern okay double top is a reversal pattern just uh i'm, I'm now into the question someone asked me how to trade a double top okay so most time when people see double top and see this kind of bu uh, bearish candle like this you see this is like uh a shooting star right here okay so when they see this kind of candlestick at the close of this candle most people are going to enter their cell at this point okay they are going to enter their cell but the, tr the truth is that the price can actually, okay, push all the way to this level, okay, from here to this level. Then the price can actually respect this zone again and at this point push up and hit your stop loss. It happens most time. It happens, okay? So that's exactly the reason why you need to understand how to trade these levels or these patterns, okay? So now... What are we going to be doing first if you are trading double uh bottom okay or, or double top always make sure that you have seen a clear sign of reversal right now if you look this zone we have our level here so what you simply do is that you extend this line and you simply wait for the price to clear this zone okay the price have to clear this zone and create a new low to give you that bearish signal okay when the price break this new low you can equally call this change of character or break of structure now at this point you have the price creating a lower low at this zone the price have a low that is lower than the previous one so if you look here you have a low here okay so if the price creates a new low at this zone you also have a low here so what are you going to be targeting you just want to see the price to simply push back to this zone and this is the point you are going to be making your entry at this zone so once you see any candlestick bearish candlestick pattern there that is maybe bearish engulfing or shooting star or any other maybe tweezer top you are going to be selling at this zone comfortably okay now sometimes the price don't just hit here and turn back the price can break into this zone okay before reversing but you are just waiting for any other swing high you are going to be making your entry at that zone at the swing high 
So this is exactly how to go from a higher time frame, break it to a lower time frame, and then you know filter your entry point and make that accurate entry that we always turn up or turn out to be a good um um uh, trade for you okay so this is actually sim uh, simple to do okay so um i kind of um, help you narrow down your analysis and know where you are focusing on or where you are focusing your energy on so if the price should break here retreat uh, uh, retest back to this zone and it may be our flip zone or into this level just we just need a new high just the price creating a new high giving us this higher mm, that is lower high from here lower low lower high lower low okay if the price can give us this low like this okay as the price of a kind of uh, at this point now the price is re respecting this zone so we needed a break of structure we need this price to break this level then give us a new high a new low sorry then push up again create a new high then we make our entry right so you can equally make entry once the price closes below this structure once a, a, a strong bearish candle closes below this particular level you can make your entry there also okay but just make sure that the price close below here before you make your entry so what i mean is that if you are trading double top for instance or m pattern so you have this level right here you can patiently wait for the price to break this structure here okay before you make your entry when candlestick closes below here before you make your entry or the price traces back before you make your entry these are two ways you make entry either the price break or the price break and pull back then wait for the price to create a new high which is this level then you can now make your entry at that point you set your stop loss above here and your tp any level you want okay so if you are entering here your stop loss is actually going to be above this level okay and your tp any level so you can check out these things okay i've just simply sh shown you how to you know remove confusion when it comes to uh chart uh breakdown now another thing i want to share with you quickly okay is the second option which is um the bearish move okay you know we said we are, we are targeting some levels which is this level down here or this one up here so what are we going to be doing exactly so if you must go ahead with this uptrending move okay if we see a bullish maybe a bullish uh strong bullish candle here maybe bullish engulfing at this zone you can start thinking maybe you can enter but standard thing with the clear for me the kind of trade i will always want to enter i want this to see the price clear this zone okay if the price will clear this zone and retest i'm going to be making entry at this zone but the problem is that if you look at the the the, the charts okay the price right now you discover that if the price should clear this zone from here okay from the zone of retest to this level you don't have any you don't have much things to like uh you are not going to be getting a lot of uh peeps from there so that's exactly the reason why it will not be so i'm not going to be so interested in buying at this point in time okay because even though the price is going to push up i'm not still going to be getting a good risk reward guys so that's exactly um what the reason why i'm not actually going to be looking towards buying because the how many people am i going to be getting within this move okay so i rather focus on this than this but all the same i just need to see the confirmation make sure that i'm entering the trade at the right place but if you are still going to buy uh, buying these are the things i will also look out for i want to see the price you know um break this level or i also have a level here which the, i'm also going to be focusing on if i want to buy if the price should also clear this zone okay the price push up at this point clear this zone retest this zone i can equally buy at this level okay so these are the two levels i might be doing something so at this one is better here i can actually get good risk reward at this zone so i will delete this first one for instance so i can actually get good risk reward at this zone than this one so i'm focusing on more on this than this so this is actually how to do this i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it's helpful i hope you have learned a lot and if you enjoy this video there is no one will know that you enjoy the video if you don't like the video please like the video it doesn't take anything from you just click that like button subscribe if you are new to my channel or you are not yet a subscriber subscribe then leave a comment on the kind of video you want me to create so if you want me to create any video on price action on indicators anything at all 
I'm going to also create a video for you. Ask any question and I'll answer your question using a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, I have a Telegram channel where I teach advanced uh, a concept like this. I drop voice notes. I drop chat. Uh, and I'm going to be starting live section on Telegram channel. So if you want to enjoy all those things, join that Telegram channel. It's completely free. All right. Uh, the link is also in, going to be in the description of this video. Check out the description and join. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now, guys. Enjoy.